welcome to the Faba TV tutorial section in the Silly Farm video corner. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm not going to be in front of the camera because it's probably not my best hair day. So to spare you guys some crazy hair, I'm just going to let my beautiful Leah be the model. And um, in another tutorial, Pam showed you a super fast, super cool way to do some uh, designs with black and using roses, just using um, certain markings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build off of that and show you how you can turn it into an actual design. So I am using this combination called Tickle Me Pink. And then close your eyes, please. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on an angle right here on her eye, just like this. And then I lay down the first set of colors just by stippling the color in. I head down, so mind you, I moved my sponge downward, and I'm still stippling it, and I bring it back up to the top. And then I'm just using kind of the edge to make the second wing to my butterfly, just like that. So now if you can see, I have the side view shape of my actual butterfly. Now I'm going to take my mini mop and it kind of looks like a bell and it's really cool because you can make um, bubbles and you can make any design really you want with it but I like it because I'm going to show you why Pam taught me how to use it. So I'm going to load this with the same rainbow cake um, that I used to create the half butterfly on Leah. And again, you don't want it too, too wet. You want it to be on the side of being a little bit drier. So I'm going to make, I'm just kind of pressing it down. And even this is a little One bit wet. One circle there. And notice what I'm doing is I'm just kind of stippling it on the face so that you get this beautiful blend. And I'm going to go back over this one to kind of absorb um, a little bit more. And then what Pam did is she did half on half of the maxi mop or mini mop right there. So now I have basically uh, the initial setup for my design. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the body of the butterfly and I loaded my brush uh, with black. So I'm going to start with the body of my butterfly. So I start right here in the corner of her eye with a little dot, lay my brush down and pull. So that's the body, it's right on her nose. So having her close her eyes, I start off on the first wing, very straight on my brush, lay it down, twist and lift up so that I, I start off with a nice thin to thick, thin line. So then I'm going to come back in very straight, lay it down thicker and lift up. Okay, so now I have two sets of lines, and what I'm going to do is just go in and connect them with a very, very, very small um, use on both sides. So I'm just going to give you a little bit more of a detailed view of that. So that's going to be the beginning of my tribal butterfly. I'm going to start from the top again straight, lay your brush down, bring it in, and then from that, I'm going to make a C off of it so that you can see that I'm building off of this tribal design. Turn your head. So what I did on the top, now I'm going to do on the bottom. So holding your brush very, very straight, I come down, press my brush so that I get another thick to thin line right there. And then I made another line again, straight, lay my brush down and lift it up. And what did I do? I connected with these little U's right inside of there to create that uh, tribal flow. Then from right inside of here, I'm just going to keep on building off of it. So what I'm going to do is make, again, a straight line, lay my brush down, and lift it up so that I finish on a very thin line, just like that. And then I'm going to make a C coming off of it. So now coming off of this, off of each C, is I'm just going to build a few little uh, spikes. So what I'm going to do is from this C, I'm just going to, with the tip of my brush, build these spikes coming right down into my butterfly. Now close your eyes for me. So then from the corner of her eye, I just come out. And from the inside of her eye, I just give it that little bit of a line, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, make this second stroke very thin, lay my brush down so I get thicker. And then I'm going to come in. 
So now what I do, what I have right here to show you guys is half of a tribal butterfly. So now that I have the beginning of this tribal butterfly, what's missing? Her antennas. So what I'm going to do is going, uh, following with this very, very thin, I don't want my antenna to go super thick. So I started off super thin right there. So now I have the beginning. John's going to be it. funny. He is funny. So now in just keeping with the uh, ideas that Pam brought to us about her designs in black, we're going to start off with this rose doing nothing more than using the, the tiger markings to create some really cool roses. So turn a little bit this way. So I start off in the middle, right here, with just thick and thin lines, just like you would your tiger, and I just start creating my rose. And that's the beauty of these roses, is that they don't have to be perfect. perfect shape. And then I'm going to use that second little patch to create a leaf. Just like that. And again, I'll create a second set of roses here. So again, I start in the middle, then lay your brush down, wiggle as you get up. And then I start building off of it. So using my, and then again, I'm going to just build right off of it using a big leaf. So I just added some leaves right inside of there. And then to finish it off and kind of make it my own, because you guys know how I am, I'm just going to add a few little dots here and there. And rather than doing my normal everyday dots, what I'm going to do is make it more like it's a splatter paint or, look at this beautiful girl, um, or just kind of like a blob of paint, like our Faba TV logo. So I'm going to turn her head a little bit. So right inside of here, what I'm going to do is wiggle my brush and just create almost like these drips. So where I have some extra space, I just get my brush pretty generously wet and I just let the the paint kind of make itself appear as if it's dripping. So again, so from right in here, I just got my brush almost a little bit more wet than I'm used to. And watch what I'm doing. I'm just going to let it drip a little bit, okay? So then you can do this from anywhere if you want. I'll just, to keep it balanced, I'm going to give her a little bit of this kind of drip right inside of here. And then I'm going to add, if you can see, I'll add one more right there, a smaller one. And then I'm going to give her glitter. Can you turn this way? So then I'm going to add just a smaller little drips right in. Then to finish off this design, I'm going to give her some lipstick because that is our favorite part, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My favorite part is the glitter and the paint and the lipstick. Oh, so you love everything, huh, girl? Okay, so I'm just going to finish off by just adding a little bit of color to her lips. And if she was, you know, more of a teen, um, then you can always line her lips with a little bit of black. That's always a cool touch, especially since you have these really bold lines. And then to just finish it off, she told me herself that she loves a little glitter. So um, I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter, dust off her nose. Keep it funky and cool. And then you have a super cool design that we built right off of Pam's initial design. Can you turn a little bit this way? And this is a cool alternative for your just everyday roses or everyday half butterfly. It's a little bit more artsy. It's a little bit more funky. And to go with a super funky girl. So say thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us.